chances are that if you're watching this video, you have a current need to set up home care services for someone you're caring for. If so, you're in the right place. Aidbook Home Care is a leading provider in technology-focused home health care services in both New York and Florida. That being said, as the CEO of this company, I have tons of experience helping people just like you get the care that they need. In many cases, we get this care paid for by the government at no charge to you. My name is Carl Pierre, and welcome to Aidbook. In this video, we'll cover the step-by-step -step process of enrolling into managed long-term care in New York State. I'll explain the program, the steps to register, and how you can work with us and get guidance through the entire process. On this channel, we cover all things home health care. So if you need more help managing your care, subscribe to our channel for all of the latest. So what is managed long-term care insurance and how does it benefit you? Managed long-term care, also referred to as MLTC, is a system that streamlines the delivery of long-term services to people who are chronically ill or disabled and wish to stay in their homes and the community. MLTC is an alternative to a nursing home and includes companion care, day programs, transportation, and so, so short-term care is usually associated with Medicare or private insurance. That's gonna cover your immediate needs, such as skilled nursing, physical therapy, and is usually episodic for 30 to 60 days. At times, it can be renewed depending on how you're progressing, but this isn't long-term care. So step one in this process is identify if you need help for short-term or long-term services. I'll explain the difference. Long-term care is usually associated with the non-skilled work and is going to last longer than 60 days. These are for your chronic conditions or people who are in a state that need consistent help with their activities of daily living. So the type of help that you could expect with long-term care is assistance with getting dressed, getting in and out the bathroom, showering. If you're a total care patient, it may involve incontinence care or assistance with just rotating the patient so they're not developing bed sores and that sort of thing. Step two, explore your Medicaid status or if your long-term care is covered in your current insurance plan. You need to find out what you're eligible for and does it cover the assistance that you need. So as you start your home care journey, make sure you know whether or not you need short-term care or long-term care and you're able to clearly explain what your needs are so that whoever is going to be covering this care understands and knows that it fits within the scope of your insurance. Since this video is focusing on managed long-term care, when you find out what your Medicaid status is or if your plan actually covers this, then you're gonna know whether or not this is a service that you're gonna be paying for out of pocket or if it's covered. If you're in New York State and you have Medicaid, you can qualify for managed long-term care paid for by your Medicaid. Some people have private long-term care insurance coverage that might have been bundled with their life insurance plans. So if you have something like this, make sure you call them up and find out what are their requirements for you enrolling. Union plans and sometimes private insurance plans also have a provision for long-term care. So you wanna make sure that you talk to someone that is familiar with your benefits to explain to you whether or not long-term care is included. However, if you can qualify for Medicaid, we can certainly get you registered in a managed long-term care plan and have your long-term care needs covered. Step three, contact us to help you enroll in managed long-term care. At this point, we have a conversation to really confirm that you are qualified for long-term care and figure out exactly how we need to process your Medicaid or work with your insurance company to get you authorized for the services that you're looking for. This phone call may take place with a social worker or a case manager that is familiar with the process and is there to help you and guide you through it. Step four, the Maximus visit. If we determine that you have Medicaid that is eligible for managed long-term care, our next step is to set up your Maximus call. Once we determine that you have Medicaid or that your insurance provider is able to cover you, we contact the state for them to do their third-party verification. Maximus is a third-party provider that works with Medicaid to ensure that the people who are enrolling in the plan have a true home care need. There was a point in time where people were just enrolling in the plan and they didn't have a chronic sickness or anything along those lines and it was costing the state money. So to prevent that sort of abuse or waste within the, the industry, Maximus comes out, they do a visit with a nurse to determine is there really a need here for home care. It's to make sure that we're not kind of pointing resources at the wrong recipients and to also determine what level of care you should get. Step five is that you need to complete a CFIC and DOH form. We'll help you with those forms and get you through that process. You, your doctors, and aid book will work together to get these forms filled out. These forms are needed for the managed long-term care provider to help enroll you. 
In order to complete your packet, you need that Maximus visit as well as these two documents so that they can complete and move your Medicaid over onto their plan. The best way for you to think of managed long-term care is think of it like it's its own insurance company, except the state is the one that's paying the premium. So for them to register you with the state, all these things need to check out. Remember, doctors are really trained to treat your diseases. They really don't know these administrative processes, and sometimes they're acquainted with processes that are old. So if they have any trouble filling out these forms, we are there to support you, get involved, and even educate the physicians so that they know what's going on and what will change with your care. Step six, once you're cleared, you need to select an MLTC plan. Now that we have everything that we need to submit to your MLTC coverage, your Maximus visit and your two documents, you need to pick which one of the plans you wanna enroll with. There are over 20 managed long-term care providers in the state of New York, and they're all generally offering the same services. So really what you're gonna look for is whether or not that MLTC plan is in network with your provider and whether or not you like the people that you're working with. Ultimately, these are gonna be the ones who are managing your care. So you wanna make sure that there's an administrative fit and they also fit with the home care provider that you're gonna be working with. This choice is entirely yours and the social worker that you're working with will help guide you through that process so you're making the best decision for you. The sort of thing that the MLTC plan will cover is personal care, consumer-directed personal assistance, social adult daycare, Meals on Wheels, transportation, and many other services. I've included a link down below that shows you a general overview of New York State's managed long-term care plan, so if you want even more details, you can check that out. Step seven is your UAS assessment. The UAS assessment is another nursing evaluation done by the managed long-term care plan. I know it sounds like a lot, but this one is what determines how many hours of service you're gonna receive per week. At this point, they're gonna discuss the types of services like social adult daycare, in-home care, or the consumer-directed personal assistant program. They're also gonna give you an overview of their offerings and how to communicate with the organization. At the end of this evaluation, you're gonna know exactly how many hours of services you're authorized for, and they're gonna communicate this to your agency. When you're newly enrolled into a plan and you're gonna start your home care services, services are usually set to start on the first of the month. Step eight, start services with Aidbook. Before your services start, a nurse from our agency will come to your home and work on your care plan. This care plan functions as a day-to-day -day guide for the home care worker that's gonna be working with you. So it's important for you to communicate to us what you really want done during that day so that you have the best experience possible with your home health aid. At Aidbook, it's our objective to make sure that there's a good fit between the client and the caregiver. So please communicate with us to let us know whether or not you like your home health aid and if they're working according to the care plan. This process can be started in as little as 15 days and on average takes about two to three months to complete. It's important that you get started as soon as possible so that you don't find yourself in a jam where you need help but you can't get it. Here at Aidbook, our social workers can help you through every stage of this process. If you want us to help you, free of charge, contact us using the information that you can find right down below. Lastly, if there's someone in your life that you know that can benefit from home care, share this link with them so that they can get the help that they deserve.